kami nga sa so wala ba kasing karapatan ang kilig-kiligan ah. oh it's live I think it's live na guys <laughs> formal okay ito talaga ito talaga yung team papay so ganito talaga tayo yes natural naman <laughs> <laughs> Kompleto ba tayo? Sino kulang? Ayan na, live na. Hi! Hi. Hello, hello. Hello. Isa pa, one more time. <laughs> Kulitin ko yung mga joke ko, tawa kayo. Okay. <laughs> so, hello guys, are we live? Hello, welcome to our online viewers na nanonood ng special Binibini web chat natin tonight. Um, it's called the hashtag Together We Heal at kasama natin, of course, batch 31 to 40 ng Binibining Pilipinas 2020. 2020 Hello, girls! Hello! Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone! Hi, Hi everyone! So, last Hi, batch tayo, kahapon, we had um, the other girls at kanina, and we have to be the best kasi save the best for last. <laughs> Yes. 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 I love it. Napakataas ng energy, napaka close nila. So I think we'll have a lot of fun. Mm. So are ready na po kayo? Ready. Yes, ready. Thank you. Online chat. to get updates on how the candidates are doing kasi syempre, medyo naudlot yung binibining Pilipinas 2020 natin. I'm sure na may miss na kayo ng lahat So we'll have a chance to each of the girls to ask them what they're doing, um, how they're handling the crisis, and kung naliligo ko pa ba sila? Gusto <laughs> 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 naliligo pa rin. Everybody pa rin naman. Kaya isa yung kailangan sa atin kung kailan sila huling naligo. Um, di ko sure, Char. Kahapon. I'm conserving water. <laughs> Next objective natin for this first sunny for tonight is for viewers to get insights from BPCI and the girls during the COVID important topic. And the girls will get to use their platform to inform their their fan base, their supporters on what to do. And I'm sure each of them has something um important to say. And later, magkakaroon din tayo ng chance para pakinggan yung open to the world cup. And then lastly, of course, for everyone to know how they can help the families and other people affected by the COVID. Um, so we'll, we'll have, we have a little information drive from Neto and we'll have the girls discuss how to help you. For now, kamustahin natin lahat ng girls. Okay, let's start with Binibini number one, si Grads. Hello, Grads. Hi, Pash. Hi. So, kamustahin natin na? Um, I'm okay. I'm actually at home, staying with my family. Good thing I was able to um, go here at our province, here at Oriental Mindoro. Fortunately, I was able to um, join the last trip before lockdown. And so far, we're doing good. How have you been spending your day? Hello? No? Can you hear me, Grad? Yeah, I'm re- I can hear you. What would you do every day? Now you're in a good one, you're not going to stop. Every day we're trying to cook um, different meals along with their family. And we're trying to reflect on what's happening, aligning our perspectives, our priorities, yeah. things like that. Congrats. Wow. Bini Bini 32, Danny. How are you, Danny? Hi, Paj. Hi, everyone. Nasa Facebook. Um, okay naman po ako. I'm staying in San Juan. Um, my family is in Quezon City, so it's kind of hard. I'm worried for them, but I'm also praying that they're safe and healthy. Thank you. Yeah. For Bini Bini 33, we have Faith. Hi everyone, hi Patch. So currently I'm here in Olongapo right now. So before the lockdown, we went home to Olongapo with my family. So um, what's keeping me busy is that every day I'm preparing meals for my family. So since day one, ako yung nagluluto ng lunch and then dinner namin. Wow. Great. 
Wow, usually ganun, di ba? Parang nagluluto yung mga tao. Napapaluto. <laughs> yes. Napapakain yes. din ng madami. <laughs> 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 Hi, hi everyone. I'm Mercedes. So I'm currently actually at Hong Kong because my mom and my sister are there in Hong Kong. And, and unfortunately, my mom got a fever, so I sent her so a few days ago. But she got tested that it's positive, so thank God. Thank you, Brian. Just for a more thorough checkup for the trip. And then I'll. You're in Hong Kong now? Yes, I'm in Hong Kong. How, how is Hong Kong different? Wait, I couldn't hear. How's the situation? So, right now, there's 100 plus conferences, but they're covered already. And then everyone's being very operative that they are. Um, wearing mask everywhere. Actually, you get discriminated if you're not wearing mask. And also, um, we bring hand sanitizers everywhere we go and social distancing. So actually, hindi naman na Yeah. Stay safe and healthy, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Um, I'm happy to hear na your mom's doing okay. I hope you guys are safe over there and um, no plans but to go home. Right? So after na lang ng lockdown ka makakabuti. Oh, yeah. So I'll need to like make sure she's okay and then pick her up and, okay. and then I'll come back to Manila. Okay, thank you. Now from Benibini 36, Vim? Yes. 35 pa. I'm sorry. Hey, Mika. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Hi, everyone. Hi, Patch. Hi, girls. I miss you. Miss um, you. Hi, online world. So, I am Maika. I am actually here in Batangas. So, I was lucky that we were able to go home before the the community quarantine. So, um, what I was doing is that I am working eight hours a day. I've been working from home, um, supporting my company first, uh, performing my responsibility for the company so i am working from 6 a.m to 3 p.m every day and then on weekends naman um we got to do an exercise with my cousins kasi wala akong ibang mahan, ma, mahagilap na kasama dito kundi yung mga bata kong pinsan so wala silang magawa kundi samahan ako mag-exercise <laughs> So yeah, um, also, nagluluto-luto, there are a lot of um, recipe, recipes sa Facebook na nakikita ko and then I tried it. So yeah, medyo nagkaka, medyo chubby face na <laughs> kakakain. And we're doing good naman. Actually, this is the first time I think I was thinking a while ago. This is the first time or the longest time that I've been staying with my family since I graduated since college. Kasi nung college, syempre pag gabi lang nakaka-uwi after school and then sa umaga pasok na naman and then after college nagtrabaho na agad sa Manila. So parang ito na yung pinakamahaba kong stay sa bahay since college so talagang ina-enjoy ko so I know the girls there are really enjoying their time also with their families so yun pero sila nga pag marami meron ba dito mag-isa lang? Uh, okay yeah. talk to them <laughs> <laughs> hi how are you there? I should naman. Um, ako, nito lang ako mag-isa lang. I'm here in Hawaii. Sadly, I wasn't able to go home. Kasi parang risky na din for me na umuwi before the last day. So, ito. Um, nagkaroon ako ng time to do gardening. Um, I was able to repot my plants. Tapos, um, I was able to clip 
I was able to learn uh, new dishes. Tapos, kasi nag, nanonood lang ako ng YouTube din ako, sumusunod ng mga recipes. Kasi parang nauumay na ako sa kinakain ko everyday. <laughs> And also, ano, um, titulungan ko pa din yung The Brave Hearts. Um, nag-start po kami ng fundraising. Um, initially, our target was to help uh, 100 kids. And this is our to help uh, 200 families na. So, so lahat po na nag-donate, maraming salamat. Thank you for doing that. Even if you're lonely na mag-isa, or like, nag-aalala sa mga. Hindi ko marinig. Hindi ko naman lonely mag-isa. Hindi yung lalabas. Tapos, yung family mo, malayo. Oo. Oh, oh. um, hindi maiwasan na nag-worry ako sa family ko dun sa province, sa Negros Occidental. Pero everyday tumatawag si mommy, yung brother ko. Yan, magkausap kami everyday. So parang may peace of mind na din ako na safe sila. Tapos may peace of mind din sila na safe ako dito. Medyo malungkot, pero may phone naman. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Gila Salvador. I'm in the number 37. So what I've been doing during this lockdown is putting out more content sa vlog ko and then um here nandito ako ngayon sa cafe kasi we tried to do online delivery service. Kasi sobrang this crisis has hit so many businesses so hard and mine is not an exception. So I tried to operate by you know having deliveries around Metro Manila and kaka close lang namin we've served over 500 milk teas all around Quezon City and medyo pagod pagod pero everything's good. <laughs> oh so we have a representative pala from the food industry during this crisis. So can you share with us what your challenges are in dealing with this new situation? Since uh, we were asked to close because of the lockdown, and uh, so we thought of doing delivery. The challenge is delivering to those places na maraming checkpoints, but um, I'm, so, I'm still happy na maraming willing to work pa din and deliver to areas na medyo malalayo, ganyan, to give food and happiness to those na, na at home lang. Salamat. And also, of course, your employees, binibigyan mo rin sila ng work. Kasi maraming mm-hmm. unfortunate na talagang nawala ng trabaho. And yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. Next, we have Leslie Binibini38. Leslie. Hi. Nakamute ka, Les. Uh. Hi everyone! <laughs> Online world. Kamusta kayo? Ako okay naman. How are you? Where are okay, you? Naman, okay naman ako, Patch. Nandito ako ngayon sa Davao. Sa family ko sa Davao. So, ayun. Okay naman. And since, ano, since quarantine, um, nabalik ako sa mga dati kong hobbies like um, playing musical instrument, gumagawa ng mga cover, Nagiging singer ulit ako, tapos nagbabasa ng mga books, ganun. And then, hindi ako marunong magluto, so kain lang ako na <laughs> Hello? Leslie? Uh, hi, Patch. <laughs> pa- ha- paano nag yung buhay dyan sa Davao? Um, medyo ano dito, medyo st- sila talaga sa mga rules, mga ganun, mga checkpoint as in. Sobrang serious nilang ginagawa yung ano, yung mga patakaran. Musunod talaga, mostly. Kumusta naman yung number of cases nyo dyan? And kung I heard kasi parang hirap na uh, i-release yung mga tests sa outside yeah. nila. Nakaabot naman. But... Oo, umaabot naman. Sa mga tita ko sa ano, sa tita ko sa tagum ibang part. So, nandito kasi ako ngayon sa isang tita ko, nakastay. So, nag, uh, kinumusta ko siya kanina if nakatanggap na ba sila ng mga ano, galing sa city, uh, dumating na naman daw. So, <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, si Patch. Si Binibini39, si Bell. Hi, everyone. Have a, hi, uh, online world. <laughs> so, I'm Bellatrix, or you can call me Bell. 
So now, andito ako sa Zamboanga City. Luckily, before pa inannounce ni Duterte yung uh, community quarantine, I was able to book na like f- uh, March 14, a day before yung lockdown nga dyan sa Manila. So super happy ko kasi like same with um, Maika, uh, yung last na naka- nakauwi ako dito sa Zamboanga na ganito maka- makipag-bond sa family ko na ganito kahaba was ano pa, nung before pa ako nag-start ng work ko sa Manila. So, super happy ako ngayon na I'm here in Zamboanga then spending my my time with my family. Then, like, walang lumalabas sa bahay kasi nga, mm-hmm. trick din dito sa sa province namin na hindi dapat pwedeng lumabas. So, ayun. <laughs> Same, same din tayo. Sobrang dami namin dito sa bahay. As in, oh my God. Ang dami. As in, like, sobrang blessed tayo na maraming. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi I, I have like uh, five siblings. Then I have two nephew, Yung isa baby pa. And then yung mom and dad ko. So parang everyday nagtitiktok. Tapos everyday din <laughs> nagkakaraoke. Tapos nagmi-makeup tutorial din ako sa mga sisters ko. Kasi nga, wow. yung hindi masyado marunong mag-makeup. So ganyan. Tapos mamaya may schedule na naman akong makeup tutorial with my <laughs> ano, bunso. <laughs> After this live actually. <laughs> Pero ang, ang problema dyan, lahat ng tao nag-Netflix. Kaya ang bagal ng internet. So, oh my God. Ako alam nyo na. <laughs> sa amin naman, lahat kami kasi natutulog sa sala. So, isang Netflix Saya. lang kami. Oo. Oo, ganun. Ito pa pa ako pag gusto niyo ng action. Wala kaming choice, kundi action lang. <laughs> Dahil last na yung mga na-stuck sa Manila mag-isa. Mm. Kaya super mm. ano, lucky talaga. Kasama yung family. I go first. Bel, manood na dapat sila ng crash landing on you. <laughs> Para maka-relate sila. Ano ba? Maganda ba? Sobrang ganda. Friends kasi yung pinapanood ko ngayon eh. Dahil may iya ka sa kilig. Oo. Ako. Drama na lang. <laughs> For last, Bini Bini, number 40, si HB. How are you? Honey Bear. Honey Bear. Honey bear. <laughs> Hi, Pat. Can you hear me? I'm my blessed. Oh, my God. I can hear you a little. Hello, hello. Hi. Am I connected? Edge. Wala, wala. Malik. If ever makakonect oh, siya, I'll catch up with her. So, okay lang ba mag... Hintayin na lang I'm natin. I'm connected now. Hi! Hi, honey bear! Hi, honey bear! Hi, honey bear! Yes. Yung video mo check lang. Check Maraming nag-netflix. Oh, <laughs> Guys, pakonectin niyo si honey bear. Yung muna yung netflix niyo. Huwag <laughs> mo na mag-ML Ganon Yes, honey bear You there, honey? <laughs> honey bear, kung nandiyan ka Magparamdam ka <laughs> <laughs> Ang layo kasi ni honey bear Nasa sultan ko darat Nasa sultan ko darat Super nandito na siya kanina Okay. Okay. Kailan turn niya na, nawala na siya. Pinaghintay kasi natin eh. Honey. Honey be, honey be, honey, honey, honey be. Harap na. Hi everyone. Hi Ati Patch. Hi my Filipino sisters. How are you? Hi. Where are you, honey? <laughs> okay. Later na lang. Hina siguro ang ano. Hi. Ayan. Ayan na siya. Ayan na siya ulit. <laughs> Sure na ba yan, Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, bitch. 
<laughs> sure na ba? Tara Guys, na. Guys, na lang muna tayo pagbalik ni Honeybag. Sorry to our online viewers. Alam nyo naman, maraming nag-Netflix. So, <laughs> Babalikan na lang natin siya ulit later. And now, we'll move on to... We'll move on muna to... Buti pa siya ng A1 pero binabalikan. <laughs> yeah. 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 Joke lang. Go na, Ate Pat. Sana, I'll binabalikan. <laughs> pwede na, pwede na. May hugan na na. <laughs> Wala na po. <laughs> okay. So, question and answer na tayo. We have a very important question to ask. Each of the girls, of course, sobrang relevant niya ngayon. The question is, what advice do you give to the Filipino people given our situation? So, again, what advice can you give the Filipino people given our So, um, one advice I could give to everyone, every Filipino people facing this challenge right now, is to take this time drawing closer to their family, their friends, looking back to those habits that um, you've sacrificed for a long time, and then also you can take this time as well to realign your priorities and refresh um the sort of way that you will be able to um, rest from everyday life. I agree. Because during this time, it's so difficult. And we also have to take care of ourselves. Yeah. We have to boost our health as well. Yeah. So, tignan na lang natin yung bright side or yung pros na pwede natin ma-maximize yung time by concentrating on ourselves. If we mm-hmm. help we'll be the best we can be to help others. Ako yung sumulog. True and deniably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's move on. Ready? Hi. So, one advice I can give to the Filipino community right now. As we all know, na-stop yung school and there's no work. So, I... The advice I could give is to keep our minds and body busy and active. You know, we can do um, home workouts. May YouTube naman tayo dyan. We can Google home workouts. And then for the kids, I think um, they should do um, advanced reading sa school nila or they can go back sa mga past lessons nila para lang um, keep active yung mind sila. And um, as we all know, uh, I'm an advocate for art, so I think we can also teach our children to draw or paint. So, may daming mga bagay na pwedeng pagkalibangan ngayon. What about you? I'm curious, what's your favorite way to exercise your body? Um, ngayon, come again at the patch. Um, I'm curious lang, how, how do you how do you keep your mind and your body at? Um, so, I wake, I still wake up early kasi nakasanayan na ng body clock ko. <laughs> yeah, around 6 or 7 gising na ako. I drink my coffee and then I do home workouts. I google, sa, I nag-youtube ako ng mga Zumba workouts or um, ab training workouts. <laughs> and then after that, um, I eat my breakfast um, and then I read books para ma-freshen up yung mind and yung vocabulary ko and also to inspire me para, kasi nakaka-depress tong nangyayari sa atin eh we're just stuck in our house so I read inspiring books or watch documentaries sa Netflix so ayun and then at night um, I watch news to keep me updated thank you Danny thank you next happy What's your what advice to Filipino given our situation? Yeah. Um yes. My advice that I could give to everyone is that make product productive things. Na wala tayong ginagawa ngayon, so make the most out, out of it. Like um do some workouts. Like what I do right now is I do indoor cycling and then I also do um some donation drive. Um, iba pa to sa donation drive na ginagawa ni Inibini ngayon. So, as of now, I would like to ask everyone, kasi we're, uh, we're having this donation drive. It's for 
um, 10 pesos who can donate for this um, dialysis patient for as low as 20 pesos. So the link or the details, I can just post it in the comment below. So just always stay positive kasi yun nga, parang pagkakasin negative na mababasa. So, siguro mas ilesen lang natin yung paggamit ng social media natin since parang marami siyang negative na nadadala para sa atin. So, always think of neg of positive things and then spend time with your family since di ba parang ang dami natin nag nagtatanong, kailan kayo yung parang long weekend natin for 2020? So, this time, parang ang dami nating time na pwede natin gawin spend time with family family, and then mag-reconnect with um, our friends. So, gawin natin lahat ito ngayon. And um, kung sino pa yung pwede natin matulungan in kind or in cash, yun, tulungan natin kasi para makapag-spread tayo ng positivity sa lahat ng tao ngayon. I love that you're helping dialysis patients, tama ba? Yes, yes. Oh, kasi it's important to remember during this time, ang affected, hindi lang naman yung mga um, infected ng COVID. Maraming maraming tao yung affected. Katulad ng mga dialysis patients na um, dahil saturated yung healthcare system natin ngayon. Um, people with other diseases, hindi sila, yeah. hindi sila masyadong na-admit or kulang sila ng care kasi nga sobrang daming tao sa hospitals ngayon. So I love that you highlighted din na hindi lang hindi lang yes, yes. sector ng people yung nasusuffer, kundi tayong lahat. Pati yung mga, syempre, yung kaninang sinabi natin yung nawawalan na trabaho. Uh, which is why, now more than ever, it's so important yes. for Filipinos to get together to help, especially those with privilege, katulad natin, na kaya natin nasa bahay. So, thank you, Faith. We'll go now to maybe 34, Mercy. What advice can you give to the Filipino people given our current situation? So for this situation, I think it's a wake-up call for every one of us. That is to um, reflect. And um, I agree with um, number 31, Gratz. She said uh, it's time for us to reflect like to pri what's our priorities and also make a good use of our time. And also, I would like to... Um, Pay attention and uh, I hope everyone will pay attention to this that to be aware of the fake news because um, ever since this crisis happened there's a lot of news um, that we couldn't really verify so my advice would be um, check up on like uh, uh, some trusted organizations and or different news channels and also um, maybe compare different news uh, articles. So have your own thoughts, not just to read something online and then without fact checking and then spread it to everyone and call, because that will cause a lot of panic to everyone as well. That will cause a lot of anxiety and we don't want that to happen. We want everyone to stay positive, be happy and then um, stay positive and hope everything's gonna be fine very, very soon. That's true. That's so true. I don't know about you guys, but I have some relatives, Minsan, na they would share some messenger, mm -hmm. these like facts na drink water or eat a banana, mga ganon. <laughs> Parang halatang halatang fake. And I know it's very hard to call out a relative or your elders, but it's so important because you don't know what kind of harm misinformation will do. So I really take the time to say like, Tita, parang disprove na tayana. So um, I love what you said, and I hope each of us does our part to stop the spread of fake news, lalo na it can cost lives, eh, di ba? Next, Binibini thirty five will ask Micah, what Hi. advice mm -hmm. to people given our current situation? So um. Alam naman na natin lahat ng um, safety measures that we have to do. We have to sanitize. We have to stay at home. But more than anything else, um, we have to take care also of our mental health. It is very important to have a social media lockdown from time to time. <laughs> I am doing that also. So maybe um, weekends or 
two hours would be good to stop mo na sa social media kasi sometime it became very toxic na din. Basta we have to be informed na lang sa news para alam natin yung gagawin natin. But um, anything else is that, more than anything else is we have to pray. Filipinos are known to be strong. We've been through a lot. But I know that through through prayers na igagay tayo ni Lord lagi and he will not um hindi niya tayo papabayaan and more than money more than anything um what's there or what's uh, our material na meron tayo what is the uh, the most powerful is yung prayer natin talaga na kapag nagsama-sama tayo nagdasal papakinggan tayo ni Lord and Pilipino tayo eh malakas tayo and kaya natin to Yeah. Thank you, my God. So, Thank nag- you. Si Simba pa rin kayo online? Yeah. Um, actually, t- dito sa bayan namin, yung, yung priest namin, um, dala niya yung Holy Sacrament, tapos iniikot niya sa bayan. So, that was, um, I think, every Sunday morning, nag-iikot si Father, iniikot niya yung Holy Sacrament sa mga bayan, and then we go out. Pero syempre, social distancing pa din. Yun, and then we reflect on what's happening kasi nga medyo nakaka-stress yung nangyayari but we have to stay positive and um, let's keep our faith with God kasi siya lang talaga yung makaka-help and makaka-heal sa ating lahat. Okay, so syempre pagdasal natin lahat na yes. natin at malagpasan natin tong crisis ito. Yes. Thank you, Maika. So, Thank you. Next, we'll talk to Vim. Num- Binibini yeah. number 30. Hello? Yes, so what I, advice can you give to Filipino people? Um, these days, sobrang hirap talaga ng pinagdadaanan natin. So my advice to the Filipino people is to, it's just to be gentle with yourself. Um, It's okay to feel scared. It's okay to feel anxious because um, what's happening right now is really overwhelming. So, parang never pa natin naranasan yung ganito. So, almost um, weeks ka na hindi nakakalabas, na nasasanay tayo na anytime lumalabas tayo, kung kailan gusto natin. So, parang just be gentle with yourself na it's okay to be scared na like if may nababasa ka like yung sinabi ni Mercedes na na mga fake news so may tendency na natatakot tayo parang nakakapraning and and that's one thing that we should always think um, we should verify the sites before sharing it kasi nakaka-affect din siya sa ibang tao and also um, we just have faith na everything will be better After this, our world will be better, will be more beautiful because um, I think this is a reminder also that we will we just need to live simply um, back to basics. Kasi parang, parang masyari na tayo nagpo-focus sa mga material na bagay na nakakalimutan natin yung, yung, yung time with family. Honestly, lately, parang sobrang natutuwa ako na for the first time... Um, ang saya na naririnig ko yung mga neighbors ko na na masaya. Parang habang kumakain, masaya sila. Sa araw, parang naghahabulan sila. So yung mga kids, parang ngayon ko lang narinig yung gano'n yung tawa nila sa sa family nila. So siguro, um, this um, this crisis is really a wake-up call. And um, this will serve as a reminder that we should not take anything for granted. And also, we should be gentle towards other people, to be compassionate and also to be considerate to other people. Yun. <laughs> Sobrang ganda ng sinabi mo kasi <laughs> yun yung nararamdaman ko. Yung little things parang tinake natin mm-hmm. for yes. kahit yung pagkain sa restaurant or pag diba? uh-huh. sa friends mo. Parang kahit yung mga simpleng bagay na wala uh-huh. sa So, after this, for sure, everyone will have a newfound understanding and appreciation for the simple things in life. Tama. Let's ask Love Binibini37. Hi. So, I guess I agree with everyone saying 
the advices that we have to have like during this time. Pero aside from that, my advice would be something for after. What we're ha- what's happening right now is such a surprise that we used to know what we want out of life. And now that everything is at a standstill, na yung mundo natin biglang tumigil, ano mangyayari after? That's the fears and um, anxiety people have. Like, what can we do after? And my advice for everyone right now is to to picture themselves who they want to be or what they want to be after this crisis. That this type of thing, when it happens again, the difficulties that they have right now, it wouldn't happen to them ever again. Um, it's more of planning ahead for the next for the next time and being wise in our daily decisions. And I know a lot of things have affected um, this crisis, like how people perceive money, how people perceive health. And that's mostly because we fail to look at um, more of the future. Uh, we, we keep on looking at the present as it is, but for now, since we are at home, what we can do is to plan and, you know, um, try to be better and strategize what we should do next. So, yeah. <laughs> so this is really a time for realignment and self-assessment. Yeah. So I'm hoping for a better next year. Next year, we'll be able to do it. I hope not. I hope but yun yung yun yung masama sa pagbabasa. Ang dami kong nababasa na kung ano-ano. So sana nga this year matapos. And when we all get through this, we'll be better people. So, yeah. So thank you. We'll go to BD38. Leslie. Hi, hello. So as for ano naman, my advice. So I'm also on social media lockdown like Mika. So nag-delete ako ng mga app like Facebook, Twitter, and IG para hindi lang ako ma, ma ano na kailangan i-check ko yung mga notifications. So, uh, social media detox na din. And since, ano, since nag-social media detox ako, medyo nawala na yung anxiety ko sa mga nakikita ko online. And we Filipinos should not be divided as a nation. Lalo, lalo na ngayon na may kinakaharap tayong COVID. Ayun nga, pandemic. And um, for us to heal as one, we have to work as one. So, if follow na lang muna natin yung mga mga rules, mga imposed na rules like um, we have to stay at home uh, for, for our safety, for our community safety, and for our frontliners then. So, the longer na we stay outside, so the longer oh, din na hindi nila makakasama yung pamilya nila. And we also need to sanitize sa mga ganyan and um, we also need to practice social distancing religiously and sa mga nakikita ko sa social media ang dami kasing mga bash mga ganun mga hate speeches hate messages so let's make use of social media as a platform for spreading information and not hate so um, we should spread information and healing not hate and love <laughs> <laughs> galit na galit si teacher. Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> ang daming nakikita nung mga bashing-bashing, ang daming naka-cancel. Kasi ang daming mga tao mag-tweet, mag-post. Yes. <laughs> so, thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Pat. Go to Belle, Bini Bini 39. Hello, Belle. Hello, Pat. So, ang um, my advice for everyone, for the Filipinos are, <clears throat> Wait lang. <laughs> it's like super important talaga yung, yung stay at home. Kasi may, um, there, uh, other people don't know this, na parang kahit hindi ka nakakaranas ng mga symptoms, it's still possible, it's, it's still possible na you can like, uh, infect other people. Like, meron yun sa Apple, they have this parang, screening for the COVID-19, they said those who don't have a lot of symptoms can still pass the virus on to others. Yun na yung parang carrier lang tayo, especially those people who are, who are healthy ba? Like, parang you think you don't have the virus, but you, um, you can actually like uh, spread it to other people. Kasi nga, <clears throat> kasi nga ma, ma, ano ka, malakas ka, so you won't get infected. But but um, you will still be able to spread the virus. So yun lang yung ano ko advice ko sa iba na parang I don't I I don't have symptoms naman. Na parang I 
I didn't, ano naman, like, went to, like, Manila, bayan sa mga China and other places na may mga widespread of COVID-19. But think na possible na maging carrier ka lang, maging, maging carrier ka. So, um, I really want to reiterate to people na please stay at home. It will really, really, really help yung pag, um, pag-curb ng spread of the virus. And then, my other advice then is, Uh, I hope we will not grow in fear but in faith. Parang super, I believe na super lakas ng prayers. So I hope everyone, like every day, like when you, before you, before you sleep or kahit like when you wake up in the morning, I hope um, gawin natin siyang, ano, we, you, we do it religiously, like to always pray, like to guide and help, uh, especially our frontliners, like, I, I have a sister who is a nurse. Then I'm super concerned sa kanya. Like, and then my cousins, then my cousin and my my other relatives, then they are like front one of the frontliners. So, parang they ha, they also wish na parang sana lang they could stay at home na lang. Pero di ba they had an oath to help. So what we can do to help uh to help them is like to pray and then to really. Uh, listen sa mga rules ba like like stay at home then paglalabas man social distancing yan talaga yung parang lagi kong nakikita sa social media ngayon yung nagsispread na kala ko ba social din- distancing pero super dami pa rin na hindi nagpo-follow so parang parang iniisip ng iba like social distancing is like parang ano ba yan hindi naman makakatulong yan but it will slowly but it will sto- slowly spread the virus kasi parang it will still help kahit iniisip nyo na maliit, maliit na bagay lang yan but it will greatly ano parang it will greatly help if like lahat tayo iniisip natin like social distancing is uh, parang the answer parang to, to stop the spread nga parang sana talaga like they'll like ma uh, maisip talaga nila yung other people especially those na parang super cautious like super nagsistay lang sila at home so parang yun yung advice ko for them. Sobrang agree ako sa sinabi mo kasi may nabasa din ako na sa Iceland, 50% ng tinest nila asymp- positive pero asymptomatic. asymptomatic. Mm-hmm. Pre-symptomatic, hindi lang post-symptomatic pero sobrang asymptomatic. Never mm-hmm. has symptoms ever. Sa so South Korea, 29.9% asymptomatic. Never nagkaroon ng symptoms. Um, mm-hmm. At sa yung Diamond Cruise, yung cruise ship, 18% ng people doon, positive pero walang symptoms. So talagang, hindi porkit hindi ka inuubo, Mm-mm. ibig sabihin na masispread, na hindi mo maisispread yung virus. Mm-mm. So the best yes. way to deal with this talaga is to think na meron ka ng virus. So yes. isipin mo na meron ka ng virus, stay at home, um, mm-hmm. be responsible with your pag umuubo ka, and Mm-mm. Social distancing talaga. Kasi if each of us has that mindset, um, sobrang laking bagay yun sa pag-slow, pag-slow ng spread. Yes, I super agree at the patch. Yung ir- irresponsible lang talaga kasi yung ibang tao kasi hindi sila naniniwala na... Yeah, um, parang they mag- have, parang hmm, malakas naman ako, I won't. Kasi for us, dito sa amin sa Zamboanga, our first case is a 29-year-old. Parang who would have thought na parang bata yung pinaka first case namin dito, 'di ba? Like sinasabi ng iba, matatanda lang magkakaroon. Pero 'di ba sa atin, tw- sa amin here, 29 years old, like like parang she uh, he's too young pa to have like to be infected ba, 'di ba? So dapat lahat talaga tayo isipin natin like wag naman tayong maging super planning na parang oh my god, baka meron na talaga ako. Parang mas better na yun na isipin na lang natin na we have para at least, 'di ba? Parang mas ano na tayo like isa lang ako sa bahay, oo, oh, oh. then, mm-hmm. like, example, ako, like, uh, ma big family, like, ang dami kong mga siblings, and, yun, tapos parang, I do, uh, may, yung baso ko, I don't share it with them, ganun na ako yes. pa, parang, kasi ayoko talaga, kasi, what, what if one of them may infect, tapos, syempre, isipin ko agad ako, kasi galing akong Manila, eh, di ba, kahit wala naman akong nararamdaman, kasi, I always drink medicine naman din, kahit nasa Manila pa lang ako, vitamins and everything, pero parang parang gusto ko na lang parang what if pa, na na carrier lang ako 
but I don't mm-hmm. have the symptoms. I don't, di ba? Parang, kaya yun, like parang yun sa baso ko, sabi ko, wag yung gamitin yan para hindi kayo mahawa sa akin. Especially sa dad ko kasi may diabetes siya. So, mas ano ako sa dad ko na parang ayoko na mag-best sa kanya. <laughs> kasi normally, we do that talaga like every every day. Parang, ah, oh, daddy, good morning. Parang, beso, ganyan. But now, parang, di, please. Love kita. So, ayoko mahawa ka if ever lang na meron ako. So, ganun. Ako <laughs> din. Kahit sa tatlong ko na ako hindi umaalis ng bahay, hindi ko pa rin nilalapitan yung dad ko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, better be safe than sorry. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Ayoko mag-guilty if ever we are. <laughs> so, to our last pinibili, Honey Da, HV, wala pa rin. Ay, wala siya. Honey Honeybe. Miss ka na namin, Honeybe. Magsalita ka na. Honeybe. Honeybe, sendan kita load. <laughs> LTE, gano'n. Grabe. Daming pera. Pero nag-chat siya sa GC. Naririnig daw niya tayo. Pero, ewan ko lang. Talaga Bakit mag-i-chat siya. Yung... Boses niya na lang. Boses na lang. Oo, oh, baka pa di voice. Honeybe. Oh, yan! Yeah, Honeybe! Ka na. Nagpa-load ka na ba, oh, Honey Bear? <laughs> honey Bear! Diba? Binuro ano talaga yung ano? Yung reception siguro. Or mahina talaga. Ayan. Hapto talaga siya. So, if it's a um, Mahina daw talaga. Mahina daw talaga. Ayan! 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 Honey Bear! Oh my God! Hi, no yes! Way. Gusto ko yung fresh na fresh na. Kasi na Paul Fizz pa. <laughs> Black Cado. Sana all. Okay, okay. This is your moment. Yay! Go, Honey Bear! Yay! Hello! <laughs> to the Filipino people. Mahina. Wala talaga. Nagahang si Honey Bae. Ayan na, she's back. Ayan na, ayan na. Go, 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 go. Ayan na, Honey. I-chat mo natin si Dudab ka na lang natin. <laughs> Oo nga. <pwede. laughs> Wala talaga. We have fun. So, thank you girls for all your answers. I'm so happy naman na sobrang eloquent ng batch na to. Sobrang daming... Um, up bag. Up bag. Pagpalakpakan natin mga sigilin natin. Yay! Yay! Sorry. Ito ba, Leslie? Tapos, pero ngayon, medyo mas light. Sige, sige. For online tours. Ready na ba kayo? Yes. Yes. Ready! Or ready. Yes. Teacher? Anyone can answer sa baba. Okay. Okay. This is a question from our online thinking. The question is, which song best describes you? Okay. Ah, meron ako. Itibela mo na una. Meron ako dyan. Meron ako dyan. Dapat ka may sadibdib, gano'n. Pwede kumanta. Dapat ka may sadibdib. Kakantahin ba? Kakantahin ba? Teacher, baka naman ako pag ano ka ba? Guitar. Ay, kuha mo na ako ng ano ha, prop. Si teacher na lang. Sir, kantahan mo kami, teacher. Go, teacher! Si Bella muna. Si Bella muna sasagot. Ay, oo nga! Ay! Go, Bella. Knowledge naman natin si Bella. Go, Bella. Go, Bella. So, yung song for me, yung A Million Dreams. Song siya sa The Greatest Showman. So, Parang gusto ko maging magkaroon magkaroon din ng million dreams yung mga tao kasi di ba parang if we don't have a dream parang will not like look forward sa next day parang ano ba gagawin ko next day trabaho na naman but parang sa akin kasi I have a lot of dreams talaga like paminsan nga sa sobrang laki na ng dream ko siya sabi sa akin ng papa ko ambisyosa ambisyosa ka talaga but mo ang lak bakit ang laki ng dream mo but super big ng dream mo like parang pami- like kasi sinasabi ko pa minsan na gusto kong magkaroon ng ng malaking resort gusto kong mag-own ng malaking acre of forest ganun talaga yung dream ko as in like up until now dream ko pa rin yun 
So, ang kailangan na lang is pera. <laughs> so, yun, parang, yun din yung advice ko sa iba, na parang uh, maganda na may mga dreams tayo para para lagi tayo may nilolook forward the next day. Yun. Law of attraction lang yan, Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Pwede sa mga bot, Charen. Teacher, go! Recitation. Ano, um, yung song na to, supposed to be, ito yung kakatahin ko yung nung talent, yung talent show natin, yung February 14th. Pero, wala na ako langan ako sa time na mag-practice. So, the title is, She Used to Be Mine. Sa ano siya, musical siya na, The Waitress. So, wala yung, yung message kasi ng song is, Parang lahat naman tayo nakaka-relate na, di ba? May mga dreams tayo sa sarili natin. And hindi naman most of the time or all the time na yung mga goal natin, yung mga napipicture out natin yung self natin na ganito tayo. So parang hindi talaga all the time na naabot natin yon And parang it's a song about self-acceptance na no matter what, uh, no matter where you end up, So, parang tanggapin pa rin natin yung sarili natin. Mahalin pa rin natin yung sarili natin kasi wala namang ibang magmamahal sa atin kundi tayo-tayo lang. Alam mo. Oh, <laughs> <ito, family>. oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ang ganda lang kasi ng song. Oh, okay. uh, yung chorus na lang. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> lang Kakaan ba si teacher? Uh, yung chorus niya. Um, She's imperfect but she tried. Yes. Go teacher. Sure. ako sa ano, Thank you. Okay, are you ready for our next question from Tadjas So, aside from money, food, and other essential is one and the Sorry, pa ulit? Sa chat box. Yeah, I was Pwede po Nasa chat box daw. Chat box. Pamute yung mga ano, maigay. the viewers again. Aside from money, food, and other essential physical materials, what is that one very essential thing that you should keep in mind in order to keep us calm in this given okay. Um. Aside, what is one very essential thing you should keep in mind to keep us calm in this given situation aside from material? I think it's faith. Yeah. Yeah. And also, we have to think na God is always with us, no matter what happens. I think we also have to be courageous. We have to be brave. And if we have courage, then we'll be able to face anything. And bear in mind that God will not give you challenges if you think that we can't do it. So have faith, stay positive, and believe that we are all have common goals. That is to fix this together. And hashtag we heal. Together, together we, we heal. heal. Together we <laughs> together heal. Together we heal. Thank you, girls. Um, we have another question. Ito, fun ulit, fun ulit to. <laughs> Favorite ulam sa bahay? Sardines. <laughs> <laughs> My God. And it can turn. Sardines sa gulay. Any adobo. gulay. Adobo. Ay, sana all. Kumakain yung Everyday favorite. adobo. Mas favorite <laughs> ko ngayon. Masarap guys yung tapa. Tapa na pork dito sa Taal, Batangas, si Katsya. Ay, tapa. tapa taal. Yes. Patry naman yan ito. na yun. Pwede pa. Sige, magdala ko. Patry na po. <laughs> magdala pa talaga. Oh, magdala ka. <laughs> Maika, super crave na sa Lomi. Loming Batangas. Oh my God, Loming Batangas. Grabe. <laughs> so, wala kasing mabilhan ngayon dito. Sarado yung mga tindahan. So, ayun nga, tapang taal na may pritong talong tsaka may ginisang bagoong na isda. Promise. Wow. <laughs> Oh, sarap. Ay, sakto dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> Pinakrain tayo ni Ate Mika. 
Sorry, dala na lang ako pagbalik. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, thank you, Pinipi, for sharing your favorite food. Pero thank you. Siyempre, lahat tayo nakakakain. Alalahanin din natin yung mga tao na not as lucky as us. So, magsisegway ako tamang-tama sa ating <laughs> donation drive from Binibining Pilipinas and the Araneta group called the hashtag Together We Heal the Nation Drive. Um, so, I'll let you guys talk about it. Um, the Pinibining Pilipinas Charities Incorporated invites everyone to support and be part of our hashtag Together We Heal donation drive. This is a project of Araneta City together with J. Amado Araneta Foundation, Binibining Pilipinas, and Ticketnet. families from Metro Manila affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. All donations will be processed through Ticketnet. Please, please, please visit ticketnet.com.ph for more instructions. You may purchase a donation ticket through Ticketnet for as, for as low as 350 pesos. And each donation ticket will allow you to provide one food pack to a family in need. One food pack contains rice, cans of sardines, corned beef, beef loaf, and packs of noodles. So you may purchase a donation ticket at Ticketnet using your credit cards, debit card, GCash, and other electronic means. The hashtag Together We Heal campaign is open for donations until June 15, 2020. With everyone's cooperation, together we will heal and unite us. We can get through this health crisis. Yes, honey, better. Yes, hashtag together we heal. Together we heal. Thank you so much, girls. Thank you so much for lahat ng nanood. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon, girls. Everyone. Keep safe. I wonder if you for our viewers that you can donate online. Just check the Binibining Filipinas page. At tulad ng sinabi ng Binibinis kanina, um, the donation, the campaign is open until June 15, 2020. So please visit the Binibining Filipinas Facebook page. All the details are there. So thank you so much to everyone who watched. Thank you, Ooh, everyone. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Stay connected with, with each Bye. other. Bye. 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 Hashtag. Tag together, together we be Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Bye. Keep safe, everyone. <laughs> stay, stay healthy. healthy. Stay indoors. Magsanitize kayo. Maligo araw-araw. Maligo araw-araw. Maligo araw-araw. My God. Actually, we go sure. We go like <laughs> Anong wave ba? Pang beauty queen ba? <laughs> 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 <laughs>